Hi, everybody. Today is Gnostic Lesson 41, and today we're going to be talking about how the universe is a virus. Right, the universe is a bacteriophage vector. So real quick, one way of looking at this is like the blackness that you see beyond the stars in the nighttime sky is actually the walls of the cell that we're inside of. And the stars, the nebula, the galaxies are various particles and chemicals within this massive container that we're inside of. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're reading the book Balls and Fire, The Science of Life and Death, and we're on page 161. Go ahead and read there, son. It says, according to astrophysicist Jean Peary, Lumina of the Paris Observatory in France, the cosmic microwave background, CMB, or radiation left over from the Big Bang, points to our cosmos having a complicated dodecahedral shape with a hypersphere. This topology has also been described by the early 20th century mathematician. Henry Poincare, as well as Plato Millennia. Earlier, if luminance findings turn out to be true, the dodecahedral shape, which is dual to the icosahedron, suggests that the micro um, structure that left the signature at the Big Bang origin of time, maybe phage lambda for the virus, has an icosahedral head enclosed in a sphere. The basic icosahedral phage conformation consists of 20 equilateral triangles arranged around the face of a sphere. The icosahedron is a triangular model of five-fold symmetry in the in three in, meant to say? In three... <laughs> It says in three dimensions, having 20 faces, 12 vertices, and 30 edges. While it's dual, the dodecahedron has a pentacle shape with 12 faces, 20 vertices, and 30 edges. 30 edges, I meant. Let's reflect on luminous ideas in the wraparound universe. 2008. A hall of mirrors produces an optical illusion, a multiplication of images. Astrophysicist Jean Pierre Luminum observes that mirrors not only reflect images, but they also carry the secrets of the infinite. For example, a room with mirrors on all four f- f- walls and the ceiling allows us to see multiple r- reflections. Infin- infinitely far in every direction, based on his research, Luminum explains that Cosmic space may be a similar allusion to a hall of mirrors. The universe of ghost images will be created by light trajectors following the folds of a wraparound universe. Lumina believes that global cosmic space is wrapped in infinite with negative curvature. Curvature. Uh Uh-huh. It says Lumina explains that a dozen... That a dozen gravitational celestial mirages have been detected. Um, he claims topological mirages created by the topology or shape or a wraparound universe may produce Im- um, produce image multiplications which are much more surprising than even the gravitational mirages. In a wraparound universe, the trajectories or light rays emitted by by any light source whatsoever take a number of paths to arrive at us, each following the folds of the space-time fabric from each star and observe therefore um, precedes a multitude of ghost images. Thus, we, when we see billions of galaxies filling a space that we believe to be unfolded and extremely vast, it could just be an illusion. These billions of galaxy images could have been created by a smaller number of objects present in a wraparound space or lesser extent. The later... Um, the latter creates an illusion of the f- infinite. This illusion is similar to a hall of mirrors. However, it is also so- sounds as if we could be ha- living in a cosmic crystal or a crystalline protein folding funnel. And the the 
the dodecahedron are found in science and art. For example, Plato considers the dodecahedron the shape closest to a sphere as a solid representing our universe. A Tuscany mathematician and artist as well as the collaborator with Leonardo da Vinci also well also was impressed with polyhedral shape and the golden ratio. It is also interesting that the long spiral on the Egyptian eye of Horus is similar to the Fibonacci spiral that converges on the golden ratio. Phi. It's pi. It's a number. Pi, a number, mm -hmm. which relates to the icosahedron pentagon. DNA and cure black holes. Now the eye of Horus numbers are equivalent to black hole resolutions, determining the position of the inner event horizon via the via the apparent horizon. Right. And so you see this image here? Mm-hmm. Right. So um this is what the universe is shaped like, this image here. Mm -hmm. You see? This is the shape of a dodecahedron, uh, which is the shape of a bacteriophage lambda vector, a virus, right? This is not a satanic symbol. This is what the universe is actually shaped like. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. Right. All right. So now, as we talked about before, Buddha says reincarnation is hell. So do we want to come back here after we die? No. Right. So the goal is to not reincarnate. Yeah. Right. 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 So um, the goal is actually to become a phage vector lambda after death in that transition. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that you can create your own Big Bang and create your own stars and galaxies instead of reincarnate, you know, and instead of being born back here to live another photosynthetic life all over again. Mm -hmm. So remember, bacteriophages take in, replicate, and transfer DNA. Remember we talked about this in Lesson 25? Mm -hmm. Right, so through the activation of the lytic cell cycle, you can actually reverse time with quantum charge parity time violation, as we talked about in Lesson 34. And as a phage vector, you can create your own quantum black hole using crow protein folding, which then transfers your DNA through to a conceptual white hole, which emits energy, where you can then give birth to your own shapes and forms. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this is by using the left to right molecular orientation, as we talked about in lesson 34. Mm -hmm. So in the next lesson, we're going to uh, read a passage from the book entitled The Pistis Sophia, okay? Okay. And this is actually one of the... Egyptian Gnostic books that also mentions the left to right orientation. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Peace out, everybody. We love you. Peace out, everybody. Bye.